the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new directory called build. And I'm going to uh, create a Docker file here. So I'm going to say Docker file basic. And within that, I'm going to paste this. So um, it's, a, it's a pretty standard um, Docker file. We're using a relatively older version of Go now, now that 19 is out. 117 is getting older and older, but it will suffice. Um, so uh, we we have our, so it's a multi-stage um, uh, container image. So we have our builder, um, we build our project here, and then we, we go into an Ubuntu container, we copy from our builder container, our compiled application, and then the entry point to our Docker file is essentially to run, um, run the the app the application here so um, i'm gonna go ahead and create a make file again as well and paste some basic uh commands in there and let me clean this up real quick because i don't want to use that so let's say okay so locally here i'll just go ahead and say make build image. Uh, okay, so let me also uh, would be helpful if I also had my uh, go program. Okay, so now we have our Go program here. Um, okay, now let's run our make build image command and let me update some of this. And I will sync that up. Okay. So now we have our, our container image built. Um, and uh, the, uh, basically what we have is the same, the same program that we saw earlier when we were debugging on the host. So the program itself um, uh, shouldn't be anything, uh, anything different um, or surprising. Uh, so the next thing that we wanna do is we want to be able to run the image. Um, and another thing that I want to do is copy over this command from the make file so that we can also uh, curl our, um, our application to prove that it's in fact running. So let's see. Okay, so I'll sync that up. And now the first thing that we want to do is go ahead and uh, run our um, our container image. So we've run it. It's it's executing in the background. Um, we've we've forwarded the the port eighty eighty, which is the port that our um, little echo server is listening on. So you can see um, we are able to ping it. Um, it is running within a container, but we're able to access it from the host due to this port forward situation. Um, and everything seems to be going great. But the problem now becomes uh, how do we how do we get our tools there and how do we if there was something going wrong with that program running in this container, how do we make it so that we can start a debug session um, and debug that binary in particular? So the first method that we're going to look at is um, is this this idea of essentially, we're going to copy our tools into, into the container that we care about um, and then try to exec into that container and start a debug session that way. So let me add these changes um, and then I'll explain them as we go along. So I've added two, um, uh, two new commands here. So copy delve to container and exec delve basic container. So here in this copy command, essentially what we're doing is we're using the Docker command line um, to copy uh, our version of Delve into 
um, into the the container image. And um, and actually, I think you know to make this easier for everybody else who's actually following along, um, we can actually try to do something like this, where um, we're going to use the 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 pre-compiled binary that I've provided. Um, it's statically linked, so so it should work for everybody. Um, so let me actually, first of all, let me make sure that this will execute. Great. Um, so Um, so again, we're using this pre-compiled binary that's bundled with the repository. We're copying it into our running container. And then next we're gonna use the docker exec command to exec into this container that we want to, uh, uh, that's holding the process that we wanna debug. And we're going to use this DLV attach subcommand. So, so far we've seen um, debug and exec, but Delve also has the ability to attach to a running process. So we're going to use attach, and we're saying attach to PID one, because um, seeing as to how our application is the entry point for our um, container, um, that that is going to be the first. You know that is that program is going to be PID one assigned PID one, and so we know that that's what we're going to want to attach to. So we're just going to go ahead and say attach to PID one here. Um, so let's say make exec delve basic container and we see, bam, we get an error here. So could not attach to PID1. This could be caused by a kernel security setting. Try writing zero to proxys kernel YAML ptrace scope. Now, um, in this talk, um, I won't go into the details of uh, what the YAML ptrace scope is um, and, and all of that. Um, I go into a lot more detail during the, the actual workshop, but um, what I want to illustrate here is a lot of times you might run into this kind of um, issue on your on your system. So a way to to get around that is to do what it says, right? So we can write zero to this Proxys um, kernel Yama pretrace scope, and then um, uh, we can we can solve this this actual problem, right? So. Um, I'll actually put that here in um, the make file, but I'm not going to run it right away um, uh, because I want to show uh, uh, a better a better approach um, that we can that we can actually use. So, um, but what I will say is, changing this will will change this security setting globally. Um, so that might be fine for like your laptop or your development environment or something like that. But if you're trying to, to do something like this within um, like a server, like even like a staging server or something like that, um, it's very likely that you won't want to change this setting on a global level. Or maybe you don't even have permissions to be able to change this setting. So we need to come up with uh, some, some other ways that we can use to kind of work around this. So another um, another thing that we can do is um, to get around this particular issue. It, it does involve having to rerun our our container, but we're going to rerun it in such a way that once we exec the um, the delve binary within it, um, we'll be able to start a, a debug session successfully. So let me add these commands up real quick. Um, And then we'll talk about them a little bit more and run them. So here we have another Docker run, um, uh, but this time we're adding this flag here. So cap add sys ptrace. Basically what that does is it grants certain Linux capabilities to the processes um, running within the container uh, such that um, they their, their security capabilities are, are updated. And um, Linux security capabilities are um, inherited down through the process tree. So once the container is started with this capability, anything run within it will um, inherit it. So let's do, let's stop um, our old container real quick. Um, and so 
if we were to change this setting here, we could have started a debug session um, without having to tear down our container and run a new one. But I just wanted to illustrate um, a few different examples here. So now we're gonna rerun our, our container with this added flag and go through our copy and exec command again and see what happens. So we'll say make run basic image um, with ptrace here. And then we'll say make uh, copy delve to container and then make exec. And now you can see, um, whereas before we ran into that error, um, now we have a we have a, a active debug session. But one thing that you'll notice is um, we're not able to kind of find our, our source code here. Um, so even if we were to try to look for um, like any, uh, let's see, let's go sources main. Even if we were to try to, to um, look at our, um, our uh, main.go file here, um, you can see that we're not able to actually open it. Like our source code isn't there. So that makes debugging kind of difficult when you're trying to debug and step through something, but you you uh, you don't have any reference to your your actual source code or anything like that. Um, so to remedy that, um, we have a few different options. So one of the things that I'm going to show here is um, I'm going to create a new directory called um, hack, and within it, I'm going to create this file called um, delve container init file. So let me open that up. And within it, I'm going to paste a few different things here. <clears throat> so I'll explain what this init file is in just one second. But um, what, we're gonna, what we're essentially doing is we're, set, we're using some Delve config to, um, to change our, uh, our, the, the path information as far as Delve is concerned. So, when we when we copy in um, the source code to the container, um, we're gonna we're you know it's gonna be copied to like a different a different location. So um, we can use these substitute path rules to fix up the those discrepancies so that the the uh, so that Delve can actually find your source code and display it while you're in an active uh, debug session. So let me add um, let me add one more command here, and then um, exit out of this debug session here. Um, and I will sync up these changes. Okay. <clears throat> so what we're doing here is we're we're trying to copy um, all of our source code into the container and copying um, our, uh, our um, the, the, the actual Go runtime uh, standard library files and stuff like that into our container as well at Go root. And then we're going to re-exec um, and we're gonna call delve again, but we're gonna pass dash dash init and we're gonna pass the, the path to this init file that we created. So um, using this init file, um, these these configuration parameters will be will be set up for us automatically, and um, we should be able to then see our our source code as we go through it. Um, so again, if we did um, make DLV or make uh, exec delve basic container, you see we do get this um, this command prompt, and if we were to like set a breakpoint at um, hello server and continue and run our um, curl app command. You can see we do hit that breakpoint, but we don't have any source code information. So let me exit out of that. Um, and I, I did not kill the function or the, the process, so we get that output. Um, now, if I run make exec del basic container with source. Um, so for me, I have to actually change this. Uh, because my 
my go root lives at a different place. And it takes a little bit of time to copy everything, but uh, now, now we've copied our source code. We've passed our init file to Delve um, to be able to change the configuration parameters. So now if we go ahead and set a breakpoint on hello server and continue, um, once we make our curl request, you, you see that we now have our source code available to us in this debugging session um, that's running within the container. So I'll exit out of this again um, and opt to not uh, kill the process. So I'm gonna undo this change just because I just did it to get it working on my local environment, um, but it doesn't um, necessarily affect um, anything, anything else that we're gonna be doing. 